Hey, it's JC1424 once again with NASCAR, the game, inside da 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 la 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 And in this episode of our season, as Scott Speed and his number 95 Levine Family Racing Ford, we're going to be completing race 10 of 36. I have no freaking idea, but it's going to be a Talladega. I know that much. Super Speedway Racing, except we're probably just going to Dingleberry off the back of the field and do nothing because they give you no start speed. But we're two points behind Casey Kane, so that's fine. I mean, we're having a great season right now because this game is garbage. I thought this was a good NASCAR game by e Technics. All of them are bad. This is so stupid. In the last episode of Richmond, I was like 14th place. Caution came out. I decided not to pit. And at the restart, I was 28th. Why? I don't know. Champion difficulty, just like always. 19 lap race on 10% race length. Four times tower. You'll use cautions and white flags. And full damage and failures. I just want to not start last. That'll make this race doable. Come on, come on, come on. Not last, not last, not last. Still last. This game is stupid. Welcome to the world's fastest super speedway, Talladega, Alabama, and Fox Sports coverage of the Aaron's 499. You know, Mike, uh, everybody complains about restrictor plates on these cars at Daytona and Talladega. The cars may be restricted, but the racing isn't, Mike. It's going to be wild and crazy today. You better hang on to your helmet. Well, Darrell, will we see hack racing or the two-car tandem? I think you'll see a combination of both, but I think the guys that can break out at the end, a two-car tandem, that's what will win this race. Talladega has a great history of thrilling action, and for some reason, it tends to favor first-time winners. Wonder if we'll get one of those this afternoon. If I find myself up front, it's either going to be because I'm a lap behind or someone drops off and I get to work with them and climb my way back to the field. Because I can't do it on my own speed and this car is not starting speed either. At least it's a super speedway car, I like that. Oh, the outside is checking up. It's checking up. I need to pull in front of you. There we go. We got a car. That's all I really needed was a car. I am on champion difficulty. I've watched Wood of Racing not be able to do anything all race long at, at Talladega before. So, we, we got this. I got that guy in front of me. We, we got this car in front of me. Keep that car. I got a car behind me, but freaking Michael McDowell back there is just not keeping up for some reason. The AI shouldn't have a problem keeping up. Me, that's understandable. We're sticking there. We stayed with him long enough. Keep it going. Okay. But how come people have the problem that that um that they have with the start of Talladega where they can't even keep up and, and shit like that? Like I don't get that. Why why was that a problem for them? I, I like I've had that before too on this game too. In this situation, it didn't happen to me. Instead, I stuck with the field. I don't know if I needed to pull up in front of uh, Michael McDowell or whoever in the '98 car, but I did. And, Maybe that gave me that extra push from behind to stay with him longer, and then eventually the draft caught on with my car. I have no idea. But I, I think Mike McDowell is getting back to us. It would help if freaking Nemechek over here would stop switching lanes and crap whenever there's nothing down there. But he's getting it sorted out. We're moving forward. Super Speedway Racing. Oh my God, did someone just slap the wall, or did they just make a really abrupt move? What are you doing? I'm down here. Why are you the way that you are? Because I've got the fastest lap right now. All right now, now it's her push. And it's all a matter of like, you know, how many cars are passing the lap and not getting held up. And I probably did get held up a few times that one. But you know, I was moving forward in the first lap, so it makes sense. Oh, good God. Oh, we might have the fastest lap this time. I mean, we're just shooting past damn near seven cars once we get to turn three. I ain't got no one in front of me, though. Okay, the Burger King car, and they're all checking up, so we're going to keep on going forward. What are you doing? Let's go up top. And they're checking up down there. And now these guys up top are checking up instead. Pick one and push. Pick one and push. The one I picked to push is not going. Go. He hit the brakes. Oh, oh, oh. I'm trying to get out behind this jackass, and I didn't get the fastest lap because of that. I should have. I could have. I would have, but stupid Wheaties head over here just hit the brakes. Jeff Burton. Tony Stewart's all by himself. We got a train of cars, and then it's all splitting up. Another train of cars. And link up with somebody at some point. 
and then we'll push ourselves to the front of the field. Greg Biffle planning on getting back second place for me in this one because he did finish in front of me whenever we were at Richmond. And we're two points behind Casey Kane right now. So uh, I don't know where he is, if he's already behind us or still in front of us, but we'll get to him because it's a super speedway. And we, we got the speed when we're in the draft. Whenever I don't have the draft with anyone, I just fall off, which kind of sucks. Pushing Casey, Casey Kane, Carl Edwards, I don't know, cook -a -cook -a -cook -a -a -a, some kind of name like that. I'm going. Finally improving on one of our lap times because we're sticking with somebody. But, I mean, if he checks up for one of these guys in front of us, then that's going to not happen. Ugh, pushing, push, push, pushing. Stop moving over, you idiots. And now I'm moving over. I can't hold a line because I'm a loser. Jeff Gordon, currently the fastest guy on the track. Oh, me and Edwards are making it work. I'm trying to not drive one of the apron because even if you just slip onto it a little bit, they'll consider it a pass under the yellow line. Ugh. Oh my god, I, I, you are all over the damn place. I mean, sure, so am I, but you shouldn't be. You're a computer. Don't be all over the place. Now, they're actually pretty good at following you. I'd say having them push you is easier than you pushing them. And finally, got a new fastest lap time in the race with us. It could have been Carl Edwards too, but I guess not. I was the one that locked up with him, so maybe. There's Kurt Busch. He had the fast lap before me, and now he's just falling back. He's all by himself. No one wants to work with him. Look at him. They're pulling out behind him. Poor guy. Trying to get himself a nice ride. He's just stuck with a 51 to Hendrick. You know, that ain't shit. Oh, God. Not much room underneath Truex and Johnson here, but we made it happen. Work your way around him. Uh, no. No, I'm going to stay behind him. You, you're dumb. You have dumb ideas. It's a super speedway. They don't have... Special audio for super speedways in this game. Let me to work my way around the one guy that I'm tandem drafting with. Uh, I think tandem drafting was still a pretty big thing in 2012. Remember, it was way bigger in 2011. They kind of tried to do away with it and have it just be pack racing. So maybe they didn't get an update in so to change how they were racing. It's pack racing at first, and then it's just um, tandem drafting later on. And the NASCAR. 14 and 15, that's whenever it's just always pack racing and not really tandem drafting. Although, if you get with somebody, you can make it happen. But even the AI are doing the, the two-car tangos here. So, we're seventh. And we got uh, Carl Edwards and then this pair and then this trio. Yeah, that's, that's all six of the guys in front of us. We're going to get up there. We're going to get to leading some laps. I've really just picked... And, and chosen Carl Edwards. I, I, I was thinking about it, strategizing. I want to really work with the Aflac car, and then suddenly he pulled out in front of me, and we were sticking with him. So, like, I wanted a scheme to actually work with him because I like the Aflac car, and I want to do let's play with the Aflac car. And then he actually let us. You're gonna get your ass busted straight through, but if you don't stop checking up and know the damn straightaway. And these guys are hitting the brakes and straightaway. Why do y'all do that? Oh God, they broke off of Biffle over there. Good God, that was Boyer. He just checked up all the guys behind him. So now it's just Edwards and his teammate Biffle, but you know Edwards is going to want to work with me instead of Biffle, right? Right? Are we going to go around him? I can actually feel his, his ass shaking all over the damn place as he smashes the brakes. Do, do you want to pass Biffle? He wants to pass Biffle. We're going to pass Biffle. He doesn't care about his teammate. He's he's a Scott Speed guy. This is why Carl Edwards got fired from uh, Roush because he wasn't even a good teammate. Oh. Okay. And there he goes. It's doing the uh, the the beeping thing. Let's take it down pit road. The road speed limit's probably like 70 or something. Oh, it's 55. Good God. What happened to 70 at Talladega and Daytona? Biffle got around us, but... Yeah, well, uh... I don't need four tires. Let's get, um... R2. Our, our yeah, we'll get two right side tires, and then they'll we'll put the, the fuel in. I don't have any damage, not even to the front end of the car after bashing it into Carl Edwards a bunch. It says I'm still first, so they're actually all, like, on the brink of being a lap down. That's kind of surprising. I didn't know that we were going that fast. Doing great. Nice and steady. Keep an eye on that 
fuel, buddy. She won't run on fumes. Do when you have to. Why do I only have three laps left on fuel? That, did you not fill the tank? Why would you not fill the tank? This, this game doesn't have common sense in anything. So let's get down, make a splash of fuel. I hate this dumb fucking game. I said right side tires of fuel, and they put the least amount of fuel possible. Okay. Okay, let's get down pit road. Uh, no, we're not gonna put no damn tires. Uh, no, no damage repair fuel. Yeah, splash. And there they go. Greg Biffle's leading right now. Yeah, we're not winning this race. A caution would be great. That that would be great right now. There are still so many cars taking second pit stops to my surprise that we're gaining a bunch of spots back. I'm 15th now. I don't know why anyone else had to make second pit stops considering that you can make it on just one stop. And I was supposed to. But you know, we're still passing cars that are on pit road. We're fifth right now. Just wait, is Biffle going to pit? Is he going to throw the race away? Is he doing it? Okay, well, Biffle doesn't pit on the last lap of the race. I'm second right now. Biffle was the only guy. Biffle was the only guy that didn't take a second pit stop. I just can't win a race in this game. I was going to do it. And then they didn't put in enough fuel. Got Sam Homish Jr. Finishing fourth. He was the guy that won the Daytona 500, so he's good at super speedways. Good for you. Uh, good finish for Jeff Gordon. Um, yeah, we're the new points leader because uh, Kevin, Kevin Casey Kane Edwards or some name like that. Yeah, 12th place in this race. So we got it. We're the new points leader. But I still haven't won a race yet. Yep, there it is. And now we're only two points in front of Greg Biffle instead of Casey Kane. Yeah, Biffle's just been that much of a contender. I've only got 30 seconds left until my camera runs out of storage space. So yeah, here's the point standings. Jeff Gordon's up to 7th in the standings. There's Kyle Busch. We're getting some good names in there. Kevin Harvick. I love that. Okay, so let's go see what's up next weekend. We're going to Charlotte for the All-Star Race. And then Charlotte for the Coca-Cola. And the camera ran out of storage space, as expected. So yeah, the All-Star... And then the Coca-Cola 600, also at Charlotte, next weekend. See you next time. That's that. And episode over.